So if you own a Galaxy S8 or you're looking to pick one up, hands down, one of its coolest features is the fact that it can essentially transform from a smartphone into a fully fledged desktop. And this is how I turned my Galaxy S8 from this into this. So alongside the Galaxy S8, the other important piece of this puzzle that you need to absolutely make it work is the Samsung DeX. This is a sphere-like hockey puck shaped gadget then transforms into a dock that houses the Galaxy S8, outputs video, and also allows you to connect things like a mouse and keyboard. Now, if you wanna get that sweet desktop experience, you're gonna to need to drop some cash. The Dex itself is not cheap by any means, it's around 150 bucks, and then on top of that, you're gonna to need to buy a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Now, of course, there is the argument of what if you already own a display, keyboard, and mouse, and if that's the case, I am willing to bet that you more than likely have a computer to go along with it, and unless it's some 22-year-old Dell from 1995 that is barely staying alive with that sweet 256 megs of RAM, then more than likely your computer is going to be a better full-fledged desktop experience than the Galaxy S8 and DeX combined. Now, as far as the display goes, for my setup, I went with a 23 inch monitor from Lenovo. The name and product number is ridiculous and dumb. So if you're interested, I'll drop a link down below. For the keyboard, I went with the Logitech K380, which adds an absurd amount of bright, beautiful orange that kind of complements the screensaver perfectly. For the mouse, I went with the Logitech Ultraton mouse, which is a super clean, minimal touch mouse that isn't the cheapest, around 50 bucks, but it works great, it looks awesome, and also perfectly complements the Harman Kardon Bluetooth speaker that I went with for audio. So with the Dex, there definitely are some pros and cons. For starters, even though the box advertises that it will output 4K, right now only 1080p will work. On one side, that actually may be a good thing based solely on the fact that if you were spending four to six hundred dollars on a 4K display just for your phone, that might be a little crazy. Yes, I also understand that it might be a little bit weird using a display with less pixels in your phone, but honestly, I've really enjoyed this setup so far. Now, beyond the HDMI out on the DeX, you're also getting two USB ports, and sadly, these are USB 2.0, not 3.0, so you might have to deal with some painfully slow transfer speeds. Lastly, you also get a gig Ethernet port for those of you who are all about that hardwired life. Conversely, though, one disappointing factor with the DeX is the fact that there is no headphone jack or audio out on the dock. In theory, you could have technically used the Galaxy S8 if the headphone jack were up top, but since on the bottom and it is then docked, you are out of luck. So with that, as far as a workaround goes, you pretty much have two options. You're gonna need a monitor that supports audio pass through over HDMI, or in my case, what I did was set it up through a Bluetooth speaker. Now surprisingly, using a Bluetooth speaker with the setup works really, really well. So as far as audio control goes, I really like how everything is laid out in the interface. You have independent control over your ringtone, the Bluetooth speaker, notifications, and then the overall system volume, which is awesome. So now that we're past audio, as far as the actual user experience with Dex goes, it actually works surprisingly well. Now, regardless of how great the experience is, and trust me, I give Samsung all the credit in the world for executing this well, I think the biggest downfall right now is the lack of app support. There is a dedicated app section that is optimized for Dex, but that list is really, really small right now. The other confusing part is that there are apps that aren't on the optimized list that still work, so it's almost like you gotta play this weird guessing game. For some strange reason, Spotify does not work with Dex. Play Music, of course, does in a big, beautiful full screen mode, and what made me scratch my head is while Spotify isn't supported, for some weird, unknown reason, Apple Music works on Dex. Now, in certain cases, some apps don't work well because you do need a touch screen to actually take most advantage of those. It's really hard to talk and not get eaten by ghosts right now, so I'm gonna try and dodge these guys. Oh no, ah! Damn it. Now, jumping from games and beyond things like Word docs and note-taking apps, one thing I was genuinely curious about was video and photo editing. Much to my disappointment, video editing is not really a thing on Dex. Adobe Clips, from what I can tell, is one of the better options out there, but it was not a great experience at all. Photo editing, on the other hand, was actually really cool. For starters, Photoshop Express and Lightroom Mobile both are fully supported on Dex, so you can get a pretty fantastic full screen experience. As most of you I'm sure are aware, the Galaxy S8 has a fantastic camera, so being able to edit those photos on a bigger screen and then have them directly on the phone after you're done is kind of awesome. Now as far as apps that work well, I actually really like the YouTube light, especially in full screen mode. We have a nice big window for our video here on the left. Shout out to your savage consumer. On the right, you have a nice layout of all the videos. And a little tip, just in case you own this, instinctively, you wanna scroll down here to leave that first comment, but actually, you gotta scroll down all the way right here, leave Judd a little love, drop a comment. I usually say what's up within the first hour, so let me know how your day is going. Also from there, giving you a quick demo of how well the Bluetooth functionality works. You can actually control volume from the keyboard. If you guys have encountered any 
bad products that you think I should feature in. Also, strangely enough, Instagram works index. You can also access the camera. So if we wanted to uh, send out a picture. Evans! How's it going? You want to take a selfie with me? Selfie on... Through Dex? Oh, Dex? Yeah, let's Dex it. You're really close, man. No, to me, not the screen. Oh, okay. I'm clicking my mouse right now to take the picture. All right, you gotta get Friday. Yeah. 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 yeah, there we That's go. Clean. There you go. That's what I like. <laughs> the, mask is, the mask is like a stylus. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, anyway. Other really cool points with DEX setup is while your Galaxy S8 is docked, it is also charging simultaneously. And on top of that, it does support fast charging. Honestly, I think where this makes most sense is for those who don't already own a computer and can pick up a display, mouse, and keyboard for cheap. Is the DEX a full-fledged desktop replacement? Absolutely not, but it is definitely a step in the right direction. The only thing I gotta say is I hope Samsung sticks with this, continues to make improvements, and does not abandon this. It is a crazy cool concept, and the smartphones get faster and more powerful. I don't think it's insane saying that they will eventually turn into our computers. What's Wex posting? Hey Wex, the gazelle action. Oh, that's that superstar action. Ah, it's the zebras! Ah!